Hello guys, Junior here with another Bloons Monkey City mobile video. This time I am taking on level 20 Dreadbloon. So here it is, I finally managed to get around to it. So this boss actually was pretty easy to get this far. I haven't used any of my boss abilities yet, so that was pretty good I must say. And I've actually been able to do all this in one attempt thus far. Well, except for a couple of them due to me messing up. But for the most part, all one attempt. Hopefully this doesn't wreck it for me. I would like to also do this one in one attempt. Of course, better not forget to use the absolute zero there. boost. I think at this point I've been averaging about four boosts um, per level, um, judging from the first, um, from the last five levels I've played, so from level 16 um, through 20, well, 15 through 19, if you will, because I'm actually doing level 20 now. So, considering that, I mean, I think the previous bosses that I've had going to level 20, I think I had to use probably a couple more boosts. So, overall, this boss seems to be the easiest one to do. With Vortex, I almost got in one attempt. So, I wouldn't say it's... Really, I mean, Dreblin does have less health than Vortex, but he's still fairly tough to get his shield off, especially with the auto regen, which can get a bit annoying at times. This is going to be fun. So now I've got my cult arms up. Hmm. Well now it seems like I can actually get two of these cult arms up now. Okay, I don't know why I'm going for Red Hot Spikes, despite it, despite the Spacks being in a, in, in the range of an MIB. Whoops.
Okay, now since they're getting laggy with my spike storm spam. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Halfway down. Shouldn't be that hard to take down the other half. This might be a close one. He might be able to make it through. I hope not. Uh, oh, okay, he's gonna go. Yep, there we go. So, there it is. Dreadloon level 20 defeated. And, I guess... Ah, let's show up the rewards, why not? There we go, and I will see you later.